will not forget that we have 25 one by ones. Uh, so for the four by fours, where do we even begin counting? How about this top left corner? So let this guy be our first four by four. Then I can slide him one to the right, this first guy. I can slide him one to the right and get this guy, yeah? And so this is our second four by four. But then I can go back to our first guy, which remember was this, and I can slide him down one to get a third uh, new one that we have not counted. And so here is a third four by four. And of course I can slide this guy one to the right and get our final and last four by four. Um, so that's this guy, yeah? Okay, so in total we have four four by fours. And so take note again, four four by fours. And of course, again, I could rewrite four as two squared because two squared is two times two and two times two is four. Yeah, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna count the three by threes a little bit more quickly. Uh, you could just watch. And our very last one, and that's this one. And so we have a total of nine three by threes. Did you count nine, including this one? If you did, you're correct. And so we've got a total of nine three by threes, and nine is three squared. Yeah, okay, cool. Now I'll leave the task of counting the two by twos to you, but if you count carefully and correctly using the strategies I just showed you, you should get that there are 16 two by twos, and 16 is four squared. And as we already said, there are 25 one by ones and 25 is five squared. So in total, we have one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared plus five squared, which is easier to add in this form. And so a total of 55 squares that we can make out of this five by five square grid. Now, if you make this bigger into a seven by seven square grid, then can you answer the same question? If you can, then I think you've succeeded in learning what I, what I wanted you to learn in this video. All right, cool. Many uh, other similar uh, fun videos to come, and keep watching. Take care.